Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to take you through some mistakes that is keeping you from becoming a better portrait photographer. One of the things that I do when I get to a new location is explore it. I make sure that I find different backgrounds and different setups that I can kind of use and mix up my photos during the shoot. I look for things like different lighting scenarios, different textures and just different lighting combinations and color combinations that might work with the outfits we've got chosen. also think about what I want to achieve with the shoot. What was the whole purpose for shooting in the first place? And on this shoot, I really wanted to push myself and get out of my comfort box a little bit and sort of get away from the 85 and 35 that I use all the time. So I chose to shoot with my Canon 24105 at 24 during the most of the shoot. This focal length really gives me a lot of distortion and I'm not used to that. So wing me out a bit, but I think we did okay. Another thing I see beginner photographers do all the time is kind of just set up their shot wherever they're shooting and then just let the model do whatever the model wants to do. But the thing is, your model or subject cannot actually see what you can see through the camera, so it's super important that you give them direction. You are the one who can see where the light is and what the angles are. If you're not comfortable posing your model or subjects just yet, just learn maybe three to five basic poses that you can kind of use on any photo shoot. This will kind of just give you a bit more variety and build up your confidence as you go as well. before you actually get to the photo shoot just do a mood board I do that all the time I actually make a mood board in Pinterest and then I just take a screenshot of it and email it off to my model it's just a super easy way to calm your nerves make sure you get some variety and you can always just have it on your phone as a photo and always refer to it during your shoot a third thing that's keeping you from becoming a better portrait photographer is not experimenting enough I know a lot of people are afraid of failing and maybe you are too I certainly was when I first started out but now I am I'm kind of fearless when I'm on a shoot. I try everything if I can. If we have the time, I push myself because I'm not afraid to take a bad photo. So be comfortable with taking really bad photos. Take it, just go there. So like in this shoot, I really experimented with the focal lengths because I really wanted to push myself way out of my little comfy box that I've created and I can take great photos. I just wanted to see where I could go with this. I think it's super important as artists, creatives, photographers to keep pushing and keep trying to think thinking out of side of the box, right? One of my favorite things to do as a photographer is do some more conceptual sort of portrait shoot where you actually bring two opposite concepts or ideas together in one. You will see that we did just that. We took some Christmas decorations and then we had Josie in a swimsuit and we just kind of had fun with it. Another way you can really spice up your photos is simply using objects in front of your lens. I'll show you some examples because on this shoot I kind of played around with a few things and they didn't really do what I wanted them to do. So here's some examples. One of 
of my favorite things to do to come up with new ideas is to look at inspirational photographers or artists. One of my two favorites is Tim Walker and David LaChapelle. Look them up if you don't know them. They will blow your mind. They are kooky and they are out of the box and they are super creative. It might not be to everyone's taste and that's perfectly fine. It's just the fact that you look at things that will kind of just not only challenge you as a photographer but challenge your mind as well as an artist and just kind of take from the extremes and bring it back to your level and then sort of turn that into your style. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. You know, I always love to hear from you and I reply to everyone. See you next time.